thanks so much for being here. Um, it's... I'm sure you're feeling the same as, as, as I am, as so many people are. Uh, yesterday, it's still so hard to fathom the news yesterday that we lost Kobe Bryant and uh, the shock of hearing the news that there had been a helicopter that had crashed outside of Los Angeles taking Kobe and his, his daughter Gianna and seven other people. Um, it, it didn't feel real when I heard it and, uh, and it's, it's so unspeakably sad. It, all of it, you know, growing up in Britain, like if you grow up in Britain, basketball is not a, a, a massive part of your life. You, you don't, not many people play basketball at school. NBA games weren't on television when I was growing up, but there are some athletes that transcend their sports before you ever even get a chance to see them play. And Kobe Bryant was one of those athletes. He really, really was. And, and since the news broke, I, I keep finding myself thinking about the last time that Kobe was, was here on the show. He was, he was freshly retired. And um, I remember him saying to me that he, he, he couldn't stop talking about how excited he was to have all this free time to devote to his family and to coach his daughters. And uh, I remember loving hearing him talk like that. A man who had achieved so much in his life was just, he was so excited just to get to be a dad for a while. And our hearts break at this tragedy. Our thoughts and our love go out to to Kobe's wife and to his children, his family, his friends. We mourn the other seven people on that helicopter whose loss is no less profound and our hearts go out to their friends and families too. I wish I could say something to, to make sense of it all and I can't find the words to say. All I can think of is this, if you can, take a moment tonight, tomorrow, to call up someone you love and just let them know. We'll be right back with more of The Late Late Show.